guys sorry about the little glare on my um, screen here anyway uh, this is just kind of an outfit for the day slash um, haul I like literally just got off the bus and got back from the mall Sunday afternoon did some shopping so I'll show you what I picked up first I'll do my outfit of the day um, today it's really hot in Canada where I live so um, Today I'm just wearing like a little um, butterfly dress um, with some uh, like jean leggings and I'll go up on my stairs here so you can see what shoes I'm wearing. Um, and then for shoes I just got on some uh, gold um, gladiators that I actually got last year so yeah. This little dress though is so perfect for this weather we've been having. It's just like... Um, I don't know if you can see the fabric here. It's just really light and airy. I call it my butterfly dress because it kind of reminds me of a butterfly. And then um, for jewelry today, um, I got this bracelet um, from Sea Jewels. And um, these bangles are Fifth Avenue collection. Um, I'll put a link in the down bar um, for the Fifth Avenue website. They've got some really great jewelry out. Um, so yeah, I got uh, these bangles are from Fifth Avenue. And my necklace here is also from Fifth Avenue. It's, um, I believe it's like 40 something inches. I gotta be really careful with it though because it's got Zororski crystal. These are all, um, these are all Zororski crystals on it here. So um, you can wear it just really long. You can wear it as like a long chain, um, you know, and wear it like that. Or what you can do is just simply double it up and give yourself a different look so anyways let's get to um the haul oh and this hat i just picked up from like an army surplus store um so yeah it's my outfit so um i picked up some stuff for um a photo shoot i have coming up and um we're doing the model in like kind of like a bronze um pale lip kind of look so I'll show you what I picked up from Mac. Oh, and I got one thing from myself because I don't know if you guys have seen like the um, the images from the Hot and Naughty uh, mascara that they have out now, but the um, pink eyeshadow look that they have on one of the models is just, I love it. So I've been trying to recreate it. So um, I bought myself a pink pigment to try to recreate that look. So, um, it just, the pink I find, bright pink eyeshadow really makes your lashes just pop. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I'll show you that. This is the pigment I got. It's just like a hot pink, and I have a swatch of it, um, I don't know if you can see that very good right there. Um, so yeah, it's called, um, Magenta Madness, and this is the little item that I picked up for myself. Um, and I also picked up some 99% alcohol so I could press my pigment into um, my palette. But unfortunately, they didn't have any pans at Michael's. So I'm going to have to order them from Coastal Sense or something. So anyway, on with the rest of the items I got. I got a paint pot um, in Indian wood. And there's a swatch for it. Great here that's Indian wood okay and um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like it's quite nice but I thought it'd make a nice base for the bronze eye look that we're going to be doing on the model and I've been on a real paint pot kick I really like bases right now um, just because in the summertime like I tend to get really oily eyelids and so do some of the models that I work with so um, the paint and the paint pots from Mac are really great for that just to create a base for the shadow to, to stick to um, because in the summertime it tends to just really melt right off especially if you're doing um, any outdoor photography um, the heat from the Sun really you know this helps to make the stuff really stick on there good so then I also picked up, I needed some lash glue, and this is the best lash glue ever. Uh, I swear by this stuff. I've tried like tons of different other kinds of lash glues, but you know what? This stuff's the best. Like I, you know, you can't go wrong with the duo. So I picked up some duo. And then um, 
oh, I picked, I got just a little sample of um, groundwork. Looks like that. It's just like a bronzy brown gel eyeliner. Um, that I thought I might try out at the shoot. I don't know. But I love these little MAC containers that you get the samples in. Like, I'm going to ask for one every time and just like, you know, when I'm going on location, like if I was going to bring like a, you know, some pigments, I could just put some of this into this to take up less room in my train case. So smart thinking. Um, and then I got a uh, MAC um, dazzle or lip gloss and this is from their MAC to the Beach collection. I already have some items from the Max of the Beach collection. I just really, I, I liked this um, this uh, lip gloss um, for the to go with the bronzy kind of theme. Um, it's just a really nice light pinky peach shimmer um, lip gloss. And um, I thought it would be really nice with either Jamaica by Chanel underneath or Sandy B from MAC underneath. Or even with Gaga, this would be this would be nice and it's almost similar to bikini Be peach by chanel that i got that i'm like in love with <laughs> so yeah i i, I kind of like this it's neat and i like the summer packaging for it um you know rather nice and then i also got um some pans i got woodwinked um that i thought looked really nice over um the Indian wood paint pot. So I've been after Woodwinked for a while. So I finally got Woodwinked for my palette and I got um, Brulee as well. Just a nice neutral skin toned color to, you know, highlight the brow bone or highlight um, the tear duct or whatever you need to do. So yeah, that's my haul. And I just kind of want to tell you guys a little bit about pigments. I'm not sure if you guys know or not. I know Petri Lude, if you guys are familiar with him at all, he um, actually has a video um, that where he talks about pigments and all the different ways you can use them. So this is good for not not only for an eyeshadow, but it's also you can also make like a lip gloss with this. Um, you could also use it for a cheek color. You could also mix this with some um, clear nail polish and make it into a nail polish color as well. So, you know, the pigments are really, really multi-purpose um, items. Now, the only thing with the MAC pigments is that they used to be double the size and now they're this size. So, you know, that's kind of unfortunate. But... If you have a pro card, then you know you get a discount anyway. So, you know, doesn't really matter, I guess. So yeah. Oh, and last but not definitely not least, I picked myself up some Focus Vitamin Water <laughs> because I have to focus on cleaning my apartment today. So I'll focus on that. Yeah, I've been like hooked on this vitamin water stuff lately. I just love it. Anyways, hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.